Just to refresh your memory, I came to Costa Rica before I flew back to Alaska earlier in the year and biked from the Nicaragua border to San Jose. When I was there the first time, it was the dry season and extremely hot and humid. I was always on the hunt for water to try and cool off. Just packing up my stuff this morning over there and I realized my tripod is missing. So I think it bounced out somewhere over here. So we're gonna go have to find it and pray that it is over here somewhere. Oh, look where it is. So I am officially back at the place where I stopped in Costa Rica last time. Um, I had to ride maybe like three miles to get over here from the place where I stayed last night, but I've been very diligent about starting exactly where I stopped every single time so that uh, all the dots are connected. So there hasn't been a single inch or centimeter that's been skipped. Um, so anyways, this is, I guess, going to be my official starting point since this is exactly where I stopped uh, last time. So hopefully going to try and avoid the rain today, which I think is going to be impossible because it just seems to do that every day. When I returned several months later, it was the middle of the rainy season, which meant it rained a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Oh look, it's raining again. I'm shocked. At least I did find this nice bus station to hide my bike in. Sheltered from the rain. I have my own little chair here, so uh, it's a pretty good find. It was like right before the rain started, so got lucky. One thing that's been kind of hard to predict is just how long the rain is going to last. It's so variable, it comes and goes. Sometimes it's sustained for multiple hours, sometimes it's just a few minutes. Um, it's just, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon and I might be done for the day. Like if it just, if this keeps up like this, I'm just going to camp here. I've been riding this crazy steep mountain road that's been really narrow and uh, I feel like it's dangerous enough. In, dry conditions riding in this would just be not smart so i'm just gonna hang here until the rain stops and then if it doesn't stop then i guess i'll be sleeping here day three riding in costa rica rainstorm three in costa rica there's a wall of fog it's kind of crazy looking like very clear and then whoosh, can't see anything. I am currently at 10,400 feet and it is freezing. I had to stop and put my wool socks on. That's how you know it's cold when I break out the wool socks with my sandals. But anyways, I'm almost to the top. Thank goodness this pass has been insane. And then it's gonna be downhill for so long. Probably gonna freeze even more going downhill, but that's okay. Well, I just got to the top of probably the longest mountain pass of this whole trip. It was 8,500 feet to get up here to the top. I thought there would be a sign, congratulations. I'm like at almost 11,000 feet, something. There was nothing. Like I have never climbed 8,500 feet for a single mountain pass. And uh, for there just to be just nothing here, it's like, what a waste. Why did I even bother? But anyways, it should be like super far downhill. So that's cool. It was starting to rain. Not cool. Going down this mountain road has been the scariest thing on this trip, entire trip so far. The visibility is horrible. The road is soaking wet. My brakes aren't working very well. It's, the road is really narrow and windy and twisty and it is honestly like 
very scary and I'm gonna put my GoPro on the bike and film it going down so maybe you can see some of that. I don't know, we'll see how it turns out if the camera doesn't just end up super wet. You have no idea just how steep this road is. Like I am squeezing my brakes as hard as I can and my bike still will not stop. And the road is just so bumpy. It's so easy just to get going too fast and then uh, let's figure out a way to get back on my bike. Oh man. So it is just after midnight. I am at the base of Cerro Chiripo, which is the tallest mountain in Costa Rica. I'm just about to leave, but I'm getting a super early start, hopefully avoiding the rain today. Um, and also hopefully I can like be at the top for sunrise, which would be super cool. So we'll see if I'm fast enough to make it or not. Well, it's 5.12 a.m. and the sun is just now starting to come up and I can finally see things. That's nice. I don't know for sure where exactly the top is, but I think it's there. But I could be wrong. Ah, there's the top. The top that I thought was the top for the second time, uh, it was not the top. I was thinking that was the top, but that is not the top. That, for sure, it has to be the top. Been going for six hours and uh, starting to feel it. It's been a long day. Look at this. The views are super awesome. Like, look at this lake. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. <sighs> Great. Gonna get to the top and there's gonna be no view again. <sighs> there's a big one. Oh. I think I see it. The top. Oh. Woo! 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 
Oh, that was, that was a good one. Holy cow. Oh. Samuro, Chiripo. 3,820 meters, 12,533 feet. It has been 13 miles and 80, almost 8,300 feet of elevation gain. It's a lot, that's a lot. One of the really cool things about being on top of this mountain <clears throat> is that you're able to see both the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean at the same time from up here. And as you can see, it's, it's just a beautiful view. I mean, the oceans and everything, they're somewhere out there, I guess. I wouldn't know. All right, check another one off the list. I'm officially in the summit log. Marshall Mayhew, 1st of October, cycling from Alaska to Argentina, peaks by pedals. It's been 30 minutes. The view has not improved up here, and I want to get off the mountain before the afternoon rains come in. So uh, I think it's time to go back down, and hopefully I can stay dry, please. Oh, and there's the rain I was trying to avoid. It's not like super heavy right now, so it's okay, but it's just crazy how much it rains here. Like every day, multiple times a day. People were calling this a rainforest and I had my doubts, uh, but seeing as how it's raining and I'm in a forest, it checks out. Back at the entrance to the mountain, that was a beast, almost 9,000 feet of uh, elevation gain in 11 and a half hours. This is a lot, um, but yeah, on and off the mountain in about half a day, so it's not bad. So I set up my tent at this uh, soccer field because it was uh, empty and quiet and I thought this would be a perfect place to camp. And all these people started showing up the lights came on turns out there's a game going on so i got my tent here bike and then just this whole field of people playing soccer well i'm at the border of costa rica and panama it's time to say goodbye to costa rica I feel like i've lost 10 pounds in water weight in the last two days but it's all right it's been pretty met some nice people but it's time to get to the last country in North America.